what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we gotta talk about the internet wrestling community once again bunch of lovely individuals sometimes not all the time and especially right now with the whole rock backlash rock versus roman match and people wanting cody to be in the main event like it's it's caused a lot of controversy and a lot of people have voiced their opinions but then there's a few of you individuals out there that just take it too far. Like it gets to a point where you start saying things that are truly messed up to the point where it's like, it really doesn't make sense for you to have this much hatred for a particular situation. Well, in this uh, instance, The Rock versus Roman. I've seen quite a few of just disturbing comments over a, a match that people don't quote unquote want at this time and we're gonna check this out because apparently some of that hatred was spewed at the rock's daughter ava uh she goes by ava wwe on twitter and she has nothing to do with the rock and roman and yet she's getting just hate comments from some of you idiots out there and we're gonna talk about that and there's some other tweets that some of you guys have sent to the rock and roman range which is just really messed up so we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because I, I actually posted this on my twitter when i initially found out so i just didn't have a chance to make a video but i knew i wanted to talk about this because some of you guys in the wrestling community y'all make everyone else in the wrestling community look bad by some of the stuff you say let me let me show you this this is on my twitter right here i posted this this uh this screenshot someone has sent me of ava's official wwe uh twitter account i said going at the rock's daughter is some of the most disgusting stuff you can do over a wrestling angle and wishing death upon her shows how weird wrestling fans are fucking losers this is what she had tweeted can y'all just leave me out of this i'm busy running a show she is the uh gm she's the general manager for nxt now she replied under that death threats over a situation i have nothing to do with be for real that's truly disgusting like seriously like what what are we doing why is someone receiving death death threats that have nothing to do with it because she's the rock's daughter that makes no sense like that's it's lame it's cringe and it, you need help if you're taking it that seriously to threaten a man's daughter over a wrestling angle what are we doing and this is not the first time the wrestling community has done this. It's It happens a lot when a whole bunch of wrestling fans don't like a certain decision. They go at the re they either go at the wrestler or they even go at the wrestler's family, their loved ones, and start saying some evil stuff because you don't like where a wrestling story is going. So stupid. You guys are idiots. Let me show y'all this other tweet. This was a few... I want to say, yeah, this was like a few days, like a day or two ago before um, I saw the Ava situation. This is what I said when I saw this particular tweet. Once again, y'all, please don't be this damn loser. Please step outside and enjoy life for a bit. Don't let this wrestling stuff consume you this much. This is what this person said. I hope At The Rock gets fucking killed. And I hope at WWE Roman Reigns get fucking leukemia. Hashtag we want Cody. Hashtag WrestleMania. Just why? Why would you even say that? Why would you even think that? Even if it's a joke. Even if it's if it's if it's a, if it's a troll. It's not funny. It's lame. What are we doing? You guys are literally part of the problem. You are. And it's not everybody. 
But some of y'all get carried away and people need to out people that do stuff like this, that say stuff like this. So it's not acceptable because it's not cool. Why would you even say something like that? Because you don't like potentially what the main event of WrestleMania may be. There's a, 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 a easy solution to that. Just don't watch. That's literally all you have to do. Just don't watch if you don't want to. No one's forcing you to watch this year's WrestleMania. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is a slippery slope. And as I predict, uh, predicted, the whole Ava situation, that happened afterwards. Right after I had seen this tweet, that's, I want to say maybe a day later, that's when the whole Ava situation happened. She had to, you know, tell people, you know, what's going on. Like, you guys are weird, bro. You guys are taking this too far. And we've seen this so many times. We've seen this so many times in the wrestling community. People may not like a certain decision, and they just take their displeasure too far. It's not that serious. I don't know how many times people have to say, it's, it's just wrestling, bro. Relax. It's okay. We can't always get what we want. But at the end of the day, you can still enjoy your life. Like when I turn these cameras off, I watch me some wrestling videos. I watch me some other uh, videos that's not even wrestling re uh, related. I get on the game. I go out and about. You know, I go to car meets. I hang out with my friends. Like I do other stuff like live my fucking life. Do you think I sat up here all weekend mad because Cody may not be in the main event of this year's WrestleMania? No. I didn't care to the extent of getting that mad where it ruined my weekend. No, I just hung out with my friends. I went out, went to a few car meets, chilled. Super Bowl Sunday is, is this Sunday as of me filming this. Do you think I'm going to sit up there and be mad if we find out Thursday at the press conference for WrestleMania that Cody's not main, event, main eventing? Yeah, I'll be disappointed. But on Super Bowl Sunday, guess what? I'm going to be having fun kicking it with my homies. Probably at, at Dub's crib, eating some good food, watching the Super Bowl. Like, living my life. I don't take this wrestling stuff too seriously, and I get paid to talk about it. So, for the people that don't get paid to talk about it, why are you guys taking it to this extreme to wish death and harm upon people? It's becoming more of the norm, and I don't like that. I think that's scary. So, if you see anybody on social media tweeting like this condemn them condemn them because this is not good behavior stuff like this is a very slippery slope to the point where multiple to thousands of people are talking about wishing death and harm upon someone because of a fucking wrestling angle stop it do better y'all please do better this is i hate to see this in any community, not just the wrestling community, but I really hate to see this in the wrestling community because I just feel like it's not that serious. Life will go on if Cody doesn't main event this year's WrestleMania. It will suck and it will disappoint a lot of fans. But guess what? You will still have the rest of your day to enjoy. You'll still have the rest of your year to enjoy. If God says the same, live it. I refuse to... Be one of those people that got mad at a, a WrestleMania booking decision and I spent the rest of my day or week upset about it. No. No. I don't even want to say touch grass no more because that's too cliche. Just live life. Damn. Jesus. Comment down below. Let me know. Have y'all been seeing some of these type of comments of people really getting that upset to wish death and harm upon these individuals like the rock's daughter and just the rock himself or even roman y'all let me know if y'all been seeing some of these comments because i have and it's, it's just alarming and it's stupid and if you have condemn those people let them know they need help they need to get serious help but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel Bro 250k and I'm still getting speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.